Here's a question I received a while ago. Someone wanted to know how they could make a flat ceiling, how they could basically flatten out a vaulted ceiling. So instead of having a, a high ceiling, um, like the one you're looking at here, they wanted to flatten it. And there's really two ways you can do it, two ways that uh, I can think of that would be the most popular way to do it and the first <coughs> way would be to actually just nail a ledger on to each side this would use hangers or pressure blocks and you would basically just nail whatever size material you're going to be using for your ceiling joist you would uh, nail two rims one on each side and make sure that they are securely fastened. I will leave that up to you how you do it. And then of course you would joist it. And the most common uh, joist spacing is 16 inches on center. However, you can space them 19 inches on center. Um, there's basically a little mark on your tape around 19 and a quarter that uh, I believe instead of what would you use, maybe six joists, you could use five joists for the 19 and then four joists for the two foot on center. But again, I, this video is just going to give you an idea on how to basically frame the ceiling. It'd be hard for me to tell you each um, size of the ceiling joists when I really don't know what you're working with. Now there is another way and this would be you're going to have to actually remove some of the drywall and you can set the ceiling joist on top of the walls and if of course this is what something that you, you're working with again if you have a cathedral ceiling that's 16 foot in the air and you want to drop it down to 8 foot obviously you're going to have to use the ledger method. Um, this would be more or less if you had something that was going to be the ceiling height you were desiring. And this realistically would be the best way to do it. You're not going to need any joist hangers. Um, and if you are working with a lower ceiling, something like this could raise the ceiling up um, a little farther. You know, So if you're working with the most common ceiling, an eight foot ceiling, um, you know, from the wall, that's the, that'd be the lowest part of the cathedral ceiling. If you're working with something like that, then uh, you go ahead and put a ledger on there and you're using two by 10, you've dropped the thing a foot. Now you got a seven foot ceiling instead of an eight foot ceiling. And this way right here would allow you to make it a little taller. And again, you can see here where the drywall has been removed so that the ceiling joist can fit in there. And this is gonna be a little, this will be a little difficult to do this if the roof's on, which obviously it would be, um, you're actually you're not going to be able to get the full ceiling joist to sit on top of the walls because it's going to be difficult to get the ceiling joist into the ceiling past the walls and have them sit on it. So you might need to get a little creative there and uh, make them a little shorter. Uh, the ceiling joist might only be sitting on the wall. Uh, an inch and a half, something like that. Uh, but uh, again, there are a few different ways you can you can do to get the ceiling joists in here. And just the reason why I'm making the video is just to give you a basic idea of what you can do. If you have any questions about the video, um, you need a little more insight, feel free to uh, leave a comment in the comment area or contact me through our website. And uh, like I said, I can't give you the ceiling joist sizes because I really don't know what you're working with, what type of weight you're going to be putting on the ceiling joist, um, etc. So that information you might need to get through the internet or contact a structural engineer.